And so the first upgrade you're going to want on your Cyclops is going to be the Depth Module upgrade. So the Cyclops has three, three Depth Module levels. So the Mark 1 Depth Module increases the depth to 900 meters. The Mark 2 takes it down to 1300. And the Mark 3 will let you go to 1700, which is about as much as you'll need. So the first upgrade you're going to want is going to be your Depth Module, just like all the other vehicles. Now the next upgrade you're going to want is going to be the Cyclops Engine Efficiency Module, which is going to, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty simple and straightforward upgrade. It um, reduces the rate that your Cyclops drains energy whenever you're using the engine and whatnot, but it doesn't apply to like things you put on the wall or stuff like that. So let's say you put uh, maybe like a battery charger on the wall. So yeah, good upgrade to have saves you energy and power cells, resources in the long run. All right, now the next upgrade you're gonna want for your Cyclops is going to be the shield generator. So basically whenever you're using your Cyclops, it'll allow you to return on the shield generator. And while it's on, it'll generate a shield around your Cyclops and it'll make you unable to take any damage from any creatures and any direction. So this is really good when you're going into like hostile areas or areas where there's a lot of hostile creatures like Reapers, Ampules, etc. But it does drain energy like super fast. So what I would do is only use it whenever something's like right about to hit you, you know, like pop it and keep it for like a few seconds and then run away. And then once you're far enough away, then turn it off because it will like suck your energy all the way down. But Geo Generator, one of the best upgrades for the Cyclops, in my opinion. So it made this list and you should most certainly have it on yours. And the next upgrade we're gonna want is the Cyclops Fire Suppression System. Again, does exactly what it says it does. So whenever you're using your Cyclops and you're at blank speed, which is the max speed, and your Cyclops catches on fire. All right, now that our Cyclops is on fire, and because we have the fire suppression system, all we have to do is hit the button. So now all the doors are gonna shut and it's gonna automatically put out the fire. And while the fire is getting put out, you can still, you can still drive your Cyclops around. So it basically saves you time whenever your Cyclops overheats because you won't have to like run back there, put out the fire and do all that. Especially if you're like in a pinch and your engine overheat, you're not gonna wanna like stop moving your cyclops because you can still get attacked fire suppression also extremely good upgrade just as useful as the shield generator is it's another upgrade that you're most certainly going to want on your cyclops why am i sliding all right so the next upgrade you're going to want on your cyclops is going to be the decoy tube upgrade so essentially the decoy tube upgrade increases the amount of decoy tubes that your cyclops can hold from one to five as you can see right here now this is extremely useful because the cyclops can again only hold one decoy tube by default, which means that if you're getting chased by something or multiple things and you're in a really hostile or bad area, you shoot out a decoy, like right here, like press the button, shoot it out. Then if you only, if you don't have the upgrade, then you have to run all the way back here. You gotta refill it and then you gotta run back and then keep moving again. But with the upgrade, you can just put five in here so you don't have to keep running back and forth, especially in like a hostile area or something like that. Decoy tube upgrade, extremely useful. Now the last upgrade that you're gonna want for your Cyclops is going to be between the sonar, the thermal reactor, and the docking. But if I had to pick one, I would probably pick the sonar because I can I can use the sonar in basically every, it's useful in more areas than these two are useful. In. But the sonar upgrade is going to allow you to see a lot better when you're in your Cyclops and you're piloting it around. So when you have your sonar equipped, you can just simply turn it on and it'll illuminate the area around you in like these red, red and black grids. Now this is especially useful if you're in an area where the water is hard to see through or if you're exploring at nighttime or you're like in like a cave or something and you need to see where you're going. This is when the sonar would be extremely useful because it makes everything a thousand times easier to see. You can also leave it on while you're just driving around. So you know where you're going. You don't accidentally like bump into anything. You won't run into anything. And there won't be any surprises while you have your sonar on. So yeah, sonar, really good. Lets you see everything before it gets near you. And yeah, that's all I have for y'all. Thank you all for watching. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.